<laughs> this guy's meltdown became Japan's biggest meme. <laughs> Alright, you might feel bad for him, but let me assure you, he's a massive idiot. The whole story starts with Nonomura Ryutaro, this guy, working a boring office job at City Hall in a small town. He had actually been there for 15 years when one day he saw a man on the news that changed his life forever. Nonomura knew this guy. They went to the same high school. His name was Hashimoto Toru and he was headline news after becoming the new governor of Osaka in a landslide victory. This made Nonomura jealous. He had the same educational background including graduating from a top university. Why couldn't that be him on TV? So, Nonomura decided, at the ripe age of 41, he was going to quit his job and become Japan's next political sensation. There was only one problem. In high school, Hashimoto Toru was a Chad rugby star, and by the time he entered politics, he was already a popular TV lawyer. As for Nonomura, he was kinda a loser. He didn't let that phase him though, and within six months, he had begun campaigning. He chose a small town called Taishi, also in Hyogo. You know what? Our entire story takes place in Hyogo, okay? And ran to be their mayor. There were only two other candidates. It couldn't be that hard, right? He got destroyed. He got completely destroyed. He didn't even get 4% of the vote. But Nonomura had the resolve of a lion. He was not going to give up until he won an election. Yes, he had finished in last place four times in a row, but his results were getting better over time. Nonomura couldn't keep losing forever though. After being unemployed for three years, his savings were running out. He had spent all his money on politics and even moved to another city to run in their elections. That city, Nishinomiya, was about to have an election for their prefectural assembly, basically their state legislature. So Nonomura needed a winning strategy and fast. Meanwhile, remember Giga Chad Hashimoto Toru? His career was popping off, as the Zoomers say he was uh, getting the juice. After becoming governor of Osaka, he left the LDP, more like loser Democratic Party, and started his own brand new political party called Osaka Ishin no Kai, or the Osaka Restoration Association, and this party was dominating. By 2016, it would become the third largest opposition party in Japan, and it still is today. The success of the Osaka Restoration Association gave the jealous Nonomura an idea. What if he made his own party too? But what would he call it? The Osaka Restoration Association was already taken, so he couldn't use that name. Unless... Yep, enter the Nishinomiya Restoration Association. He literally just stole Hashimoto's party name to piggyback off of his success. I told you he was a loser. The worst part? It worked. The election took place on April 10th, 2011, and despite his new party copying strategy, Nonomura still wasn't a favorite to win. But on election day, a miracle happened. The race was selecting seven seats from ten candidates, of which a whopping three of them represented the LDP, the most popular party in Japan. And all three of them could have gotten in, but the LDP f***ed up. One of their candidates got too many votes, 16,000, leaving the other two with only 10,882 and 9,503. The perfect situation for Nonomura, who barely came in 7th place by a 400 vote margin. Nonomura Ryutaro, the only member of the Nishinomiya Restoration Association, was now in the Hyogo Prefectural Assembly and had access to all of the benefits that that entailed. Because of his deceptive party name and his fluke election result, Nonomura didn't start off on the best foot with his colleagues. But now, he was on the assembly and he had a second chance to make a better imp- Nah, just kidding. We're talking about this guy, remember? <laughs> Nonomura's first act before the assembly was to give a long, patriotic speech. He started off by talking about how his dream was to honor the national anthem, put Japan first, and- how he really wanted a wife and he was putting his body on the line to investigate Hyogo's prefectural dating services? <laughs> Needless to say, this did not give a good first impression on his peers. But it didn't stop there. Other members of the assembly immediately clocked him as a weirdo, so he never managed to make any friends. 
When another member of the assembly was chosen over him for a committee position, Nonomura sent him an email containing the phrase, This is a command, not a request, and I will hold this grudge forever. He also kept nominating himself for leadership positions on the committee, but never got a single vote from another member. Even the people who voted for Nonomura didn't really like him. They felt deceived by his party copying strategy. In a particularly embarrassing moment, the assembly leader forced Nonomura to clarify on the record that his party was not affiliated with the Osaka Restoration Association in any way. That still didn't satisfy voters, so in 2012, he renamed his party to Nishinomiya's Goddess of Hope. Then, in 2013, The Last Hope. And again, to The Last Hope Regional Party. He probably would have continued changing the name of his party, but his career in politics took a bit of a nosedive. First, by disclosing my earnings, I ensure I won't lose the public's trust due to conflicts with money in politics. Second, by disclosing my political expenses, I assure there won't be any misuse of funds for personal items. Lastly, by revealing behind-the-scenes Hyogo assembly negotiations, I will provide transparency, guiding our citizens' voting decisions. <coughs> Prefectural assembly members are given a stipend for political research. And when it comes to political research, let me tell you, Nonomura was basically a modern-day Charles Darwin. When he filed his 2013 expense report, he had spent 3 million yen on research trips. 3 million yen. Damn, he must have traveled all over Hyogo researching, right? Well, not exactly. He basically only went to two places. How did he spend that much money going to only two places? Well, let's just say he was going on a lot of these research trips. In one year, he went on 195 of them. 195! Damn, this motherfucker loved to travel. That's like a trip every other day. So where was he going so often? Well, his main destination was the Kinosaki Hot Spring Station. He went there 106 times. Okay, well, where are these hot springs anyways? Ah, oh, they're on the coast. That's nice. Wait, isn't Nishinomiya all the way down here? A round trip would take 8 or 9 hours and cost like 10,000 yen. Sorry, 15,000 yen. Nonomura paid for first class tickets each time. But seriously, every other day? It's a bit suspicious. It's almost as if he chose the most expensive ticket to be reimbursed for. Nah, but come on, he's not that dumb. He must have had, like, receipts, right? Mm, nope, uh, all the trips were fake. In the three years he was in office, Nonomura embezzled 8 million yen in tax dollars through business trips. And if the lack of receipts wasn't enough, they also found a whole bunch of itineraries that were actually just impossible. For example, on one day he said he went to the hot springs. Remember, it's a 10-hour trip. He was actually in a meeting. Another one of his fake trips fell on a day where there was record-setting rainfall, and the train he said he took was actually cancelled. He also got caught spending millions of yen in public funds on stamps? Needless to say, when the public found out about his spending, they were pretty upset. But Nonomura knew exactly what to do. He decided to hold a press conference. Let's just say it didn't exactly go as planned. At the start, he admitted, you know, he might have messed up on the numbers here and there. He wasn't very good at math. Obviously, this didn't satisfy the press. It only got worse when he responded to questions like, Do you remember the route you took 106 times to the Kinosaki Hot Springs? With answers like, I am not an expert on trains. I don't remember. The reporters kept pushing, and eventually, Nonomura cracked. <laughs> <laughs> His eight-minute rant was more of a collection of yells and cries, but through the few words he managed to get out, people pieced together that he was trying to say, Japan's declining birth rate is more important than my finances. As a member of the prefectural assembly, I have bigger issues to solve than this. It seemed like Nonomura thought he would be able to stay in office after the press conference. And honestly, he might have, if his crying fit didn't make headlines all over the world. This Japanese politician could not control his emotions. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to think it's fake. That's an actual Japanese politician. It was played everywhere, nonstop. It was on the news. It was online. It was even in anime. <laughs> It was in games, and of course, it was in memes.
The public demanded his resignation, but Nonomura thought that if he just waited, they'd get over it. Once the police filed charges against him for falsifying official documents, though, reality started to sink in. He immediately resigned and wire transferred back 18 million yen, his entire political expenditures from the three years. People were suspicious that he had that much money in his account ready to send, but whatever. The police raided his home, and he admitted that the business trips were fake. Getting Nonomura into a courtroom was pretty difficult though. He basically delayed the trial for two years with excuses, and eventually they had to do something really unprecedented and arrest him and bring him to the courtroom just to get him to show up. At the courthouse, he looked completely different from the press conference. He had his head shaved and he was wearing glasses. In the trial, when asked about some forged documents, Nonomura blamed the police for the forgery, saying they must have done it after they seized the documents. To make things worse, Nonomura basically answered every question with, I don't remember. He said this almost 90 times, prompting a stern warning from the judge. Nonomura's excuse was that he had a memory disorder, so they asked him, when was it diagnosed? To everyone's surprise, he immediately answered the exact date of diagnosis. On July 6, 2016, Nonomura Ryutaro was found guilty and given a four-year suspended sentence. He now runs an online radio show. I made a whole bonus video for you guys. It's a 100k subscriber special. It's in the description. It's on Patreon, but it's free. Check it out.